Hello, welcome to segment three of the Bible says this, what say you? Psalms 33 verse four, the A clause, the Bible says, for the word of the Lord is right. I have with me a mighty man of God and a dear friend, Elder Riley Christopher Williams, a, a man of God whom the Lord has marvelously saved and set free with a powerful testimony of redemption. The Apostle Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 and verse 11, he says, And such were some of you, but now you are washed, but now you are sanctified, but now you are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. This man of God went into the, the, the homosexual lifestyle. You know, there, there are those out there who say that, that, that you're born that way, that your person's born homosexual, and they can't be delivered, that the attempts to deliver are wrong. As a matter of fact, the President Obama uh, spoke uh, harshly against churches that, that, that try to uh, lead homosexuals to deliverance. And, right. and there are those who say that that's a waste of time. Well, my friends, Brother Riley, we know better. Yes, sir, we, we know. know that Jesus saves. Yes. And and uh, I'm, I'm man, I'm glad you're here. Glad to see you. Glad to have you glad with to me be, today, glad brother. To be with you. Listen, man, want to talk to you some more. Uh, uh, you, you, what happened? Tell me, tell us a little bit of more, a little bit more about what happened. You know, when you were out there in that lifestyle, singing on the choirs and all that kind of stuff. You, you know, you're singing, you're preaching, people praising you, uh, and then as you began to to get sick, as your health began to fail, how how loving was those churches? That what happened to you? Um, at the age of uh, in my uh, mid uh, 30s. Yes, sir. Uh, um, I have my blood pressure begin to stay high. Yes, sir. And you often talk to us about that. Yes, sir. And I did not take care of it. Yes, sir. So that would cause my kidney to fail. Mm -hmm. So I decided they told me I had to go on dialysis. Yes, sir. Uh, about five years into dialysis, uh, after that, uh, maybe longer, people began to stop calling me. Mm. The menace in the word of God. Mm -hmm. They were saying, well, you cannot do and you cannot uh, perform like you used to. Mm -hmm. But I could preach. Yes, sir. Because the anointing was still yes, there. Yes, sir. Because I felt like I had asked the Lord to forgive me. Yes, sir. And um, when I began to go around my family, um, I'll never forget, uh, we had a dinner one time, but one of my cousins said, well, you need to eat, you need to uh, grab that cup and don't you put it down. Mm. And, and they would not let me get around food. They would not get me, let me get around none of the children. Mm. And so I began to feel an uh, outcast. Yes, sir. But uh, um, I began to say, God, there is a better way. Yes, sir. So when I came back here and with Upper Room, I tell you, the men's department has been a fantastic yes, sir. department that I can never say of a church. Uh -huh. You had upper room. You with uh, your uh, Tuesday night teaching. Yes, sir. When I began to start coming to Tuesday night teaching, and one night you began to talk to us, and I looked at you, and I never forget, I told my ex wife, I said, You know, he talked to us like we were kids. <laughs> he the dad, and we're his boys. And, and, and every time I would come, you know, my wrist. Start getting straighter. Yes, sir. The twist got out of my uh, my uh, my hips. Glory, glory, glory. And my voice glory. started to change. Yes, sir. And and one thing about it, glory. I didn't know how to. I didn't like to pay bills. Mm. I thought it was all about dressing. Mm -hmm. Thought about looking like somebody. Mm. But you mm. taught me how to be a man. Praise the Lord. And I'm not trying to give praise you as yes, God. Sir. Yes, but sir. You. God use you. I was in a district in the in the uh, the uh, denomination. They let me go on. Right. They just let me go on and preach, and and they seen. I don't know whether they had discern of the spirit or not, but you did. Yes, sir. And you would get behind that pulpit, and you would call us, and I never get it. One Sunday night, we had a healing in the living center. Yes, sir. And you told me, and I bought my medication. You laid hands on me. And God delivered me. Hallelujah. And Glory I've been running to God. ever since. Glory. And now, how, how many years ago was that? 
It's been uh, that was about ten years ago. Thank you, Jesus. And uh, and Bishop, it is this church here. I don't care what nobody say. They can praise other churches. <laughs> we give God praise for you. Your voice has been heard on yes, WBTL. Yes, sir. WRDU. You have helped me and not not just only me. It's some people out there in the audience. You know that you this man to help you get delivered. Come back and tell them who you are. Praise the Lord. Because I praise God for you. Well, thank the Lord for you, sir. Because in, in I've been on dialysis as of this coming March, be 21 years. Yes, sir. Because of you. Praise God. Your and the Lord, Lord has sustained you. Yes, sir. Listen, friends. Now, the, the, the point he's making is, you know, many people say, well, it's hate. It's hate to tell the homosexual to come out of his sins. It's hate to cry out against sin. But, you know, the Bible says this, for whom the Lord loveth, Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 6, for whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth and scourgeth every son he receives. If you endure chastening, God deals with you as with sons. For what son is he to whom the father chasteneth not? All dads correct their children. And, and, and good children endures chastisement. But the Bible says this in verse 8. But if you be without chastisement, mm -hmm. whereof all are partakers, then are ye illegitimate. Are ye bastards and not sons. And listen, when the word of God is popping you, the Bible says this in verse 11 says, for no chastening of the present seemeth to be joyous, but grievous. Yes, but grievous. Nevertheless, afterwards it yieldeth the peaceable fruit of righteousness unto them that are exercised thereby. Look at this man of God because he endured the tough chastening of the word of God. Brother, I thank God for you. Listen, before we run out of time, now when you came back and you, you said that you noticed that the, 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 your wrist straightened up and your hips straightened up and all that stuff, right? Say a little bit about the, the, even the struggle with that because there are people out there who want to be delivered, but we don't want to make it seem like it's presto whammo and you're delivered. Right. It's, it's a fight. A, Am I right? It's a fight. When I did come back, uh, it, it, it took a process. Yes, sir. Uh, you kept on preaching. Yes, sir. I kept on coming. Yes, sir. Uh, Sometimes I would be ill uh, just to look at men, and I wasn't, like, uh, you know, who I was at that time when I first came back. But I did not stop coming to Bible study. Mm. The main thing was Bible study and the Sunday teaching. Yes, sir. Uh, and then uh, even um, when I had to go to rehab for uh, surgery, I still uh, wanted to listen. I got you on WRDU <laughs> and WPJ. I took my radio. Yes, sir. And listened to you. And then what makes so good about it, they started bringing me a word that you have preached. Yes, sir. But at the same time, uh, I'm not saying that, uh, Bishop, that on my right, the staff still want to try to right. tempt me. Oh, yeah. But I have to rebuke him. That's right. At times, hey, I mean, even though it's been 19 years, he still want to show his ugly face. Yes, sir. But I have to say, look at here. Mm. That ain't going to happen here. That's what I'm because talking about. you know what I'm uh, uh, Praise uh, the Lord. I, Praise I the Lord. In my mind, hell is real. That's right. You That's told right. us. That's right. Over and over, mm -hmm. and you showed us in the word mm -hmm. that hell is real. Yes, sir. People think, well, well God loves us, but there's a wrath coming. That's and right. And there's a word for that. That's right. Amen. Wrath and judgment is coming to you of children that disobedient. Amen. And you keep on rejecting God. He said, at a while, I'll turn you over to a reprobate of mine. Preach, brother. Didn't he say so? Big? He did say so. I did say it. It's in the word. <laughs> so if everybody getting mad at us here at Upper Room, they get mad at the word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the word of the Lord is 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 right. And it's the word of God that delivers. And I, I love the honesty of your testimony. And instead of uh, uh, making it sound like it's, it's just all gone. Do you do, did you hear the formula that this man gave for deliverance? First of all, he stayed in church where the truth will be preached, stayed in. Check this out. Bible study. Even when he got sick and had to take dialysis, he took the word with him. He kept the word before him. And I love your sober thinking. There's a hell. There's a price to be paid. 
And, and, and notice what he talked about. He talked about spiritual warfare. He would rebuke the devil. And he says, even now, when the enemy try to bring thoughts to my mind, I rebuke them. Because let me tell you something, saints. The, the truth is, we all get saved from sin in general. But we all also get saved from sin in particular. There are some people who didn't know Jesus, but I tell you what, smoking and drinking and stuff like that was not a temptation. But put a deck of cards in front of them. And that deck of cards is, is, is a challenge because they were gamblers. Or maybe they were, it wasn't a deck of cards, but, but pornography. Yes, sir. See, everybody, is, everybody has that lion in the cage that follows them. The Apostle Paul, he, he talked about the, the, the principle that he found in his, in, his, uh, in his members. He says in Romans chapter 7, he says, uh, he noticed this. He says in verse 14, for we know uh, that the law is spiritual. Mm -hmm. Paul says, but I am carnal, soul under sin. He says, I was carnal and I was in slavery to sin. Sin mm -hmm. was his slave master. And this sin still lives still in our flesh. Absolutely. Even after we're born again, what gets saved is our, is our spirit. Sure. But th th that Adamic fallen nature in the mm -hmm. flesh is there. Paul says, for that which I do, I allow not. And for what I would, that I do not. But what I hate, that I do. If then I do that which I would not. I consent unto the law that the law is good. One of the keys to being delivered is even when you fall beneath the standard, you can't start saying, well, who wrote the Bible? Man wrote the Bible. How do we know the Bible is right? And you challenge biblical authority. Paul says, even That's when I vicious. fall right. beneath the standard, mm -hmm. I still must give consent. That's that it. the law is good. Even when the word of God would get on your nerve, it. was it still the word of God? I was, still the word was of God. I still preaching? You still was preaching. it still true? It was still true. And the one thing we got to uh, remember that people don't realize that we got to give an account. Yes, sir. Of the deeds wow. that's done in our, in our body. bodies. My and one thing God. that I like, Bishop, that people say, that, uh, well, I want to go to heaven, but you got to read the word. Ah. The word of God <laughs> is, a, uh, is, 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 is an enlightenment to our spirit. We, even when we are down, mm. what I'm doing right now, and people, mm. uh, uh, Bishop, what I'm doing right now, mm. I'm working on a journal. Yes, sir. That I started. Yes, that sir. you preached uh, way back in 19, in 2014. And one of your sermons was, do not be seduced Good God. by the enemy. I did preach it. came from it. 1 John, the, 20, <laughs> uh, the, uh, the sixth chapter, verse 26. The second chapter, verse 26. And you said, in that last clause, do not be seduced. Yes, and sir. And you preached that message yes, sir. that night, by the, don't be seduced by the devil. Yes, sir. Even though that I am an elder, to carry the title, mm. it's still the devil wants to seduce me and pull me back in now. Amen. And I got to fight. You got to fight. You got to stand. And you know what? And you win. You win day by day. Yes, sir. What did the, the great songwriter say? One day at a time. One day at a time. And you know, saying sometimes you can't win day by day. Sometimes you got to win minute by minute. <laughs> sometimes you got to win second by second. But at the end of the day, we yes, win sir. by the power of God. Now listen, my friends, the Bible says this. Here's what life is all about. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 13, yes. it says, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandment, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good, King James Version here, or whether it be evil. Right. At the end of the day, we've got to stand before the Lord. But Paul said this concerning that battle that was going on in him. He said in Romans chapter 7, verse 24, O wretched man that I am, right. who shall deliver me from the body of this death? The answer is this. I thank God that through Jesus Christ, my Lord. In other words, the answer is God will deliver me. God will give me victory through Jesus Christ. Yes. Man of God, let me tell you, thank you for joining me today. Appreciate it, Bishop. Your words are powerful, and you, and you speak from an awesome position of strength because you've been there, and you've seen that, but you've been delivered, man. And let me tell you something. 
I respect you. I honor you. You're one of the toughest guys I've ever <laughs> met, man. And I want to encourage you to keep on ministering, keep on telling the story, keep fighting, because it's people like you that give hope to millions. And I'll tell you something. You've been a, a constant source of encouragement to me to keep on keeping on. I love you. My friends, join me. We'll talk to you again from the Bible says this, what say you?